moving on. Got another video here for you for the PlayStation Vita. This is how to install Vita Shell version 1.9.0.4 mod. Uh, the latest version of Vita Shell is 1.9. This is a additional version, I guess you could say, uh, that we're going to install today. So what you're going to need is your PlayStation Vita, either running 360 or 365 uh, Hankaku, uh, either the Exploit or Enzo custom firmware. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this over to our PlayStation Vita. So I'm just going to open up my Vita shell real quick and mute that so we don't have to worry about catching the volume here. <laughs> Come on, Vita shell. Okay, well that was weird. My Vita shell just decided not to work for some reason. I had to rebuild the database. Uh, so I'm just checking through a couple of things real quick, just making sure all my files are still there. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, anyway, so bringing up my Vita shell now. I'm uh, just going to plug this into Mr. USB here. And let's see. Let me just make sure. Okay, that's good. And once we've activated USB mode, it'll automatically pull up your UXO, uh, my main drive here. So what I'm going to do now is, well, I don't need this, so I guess I could just delete that there. And uh, the link will be in the description below, so you can download this Vita shell here. I'm just going to pop that up here, pull this over here, and drag and copy this to the root of your UXO. Once you've done that, now you can go ahead and update via uh, the Vita shell or molecular shell. I like to update by molecular shell just simply because I won't have Vita shell running, but we're going to do it through Vita shell and I'm going to show you how to properly do that. So, meet you at the Vita. Okay, so here we are back at the Vita. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to our UXO here, which is my main memory. And uh, we're just going to hit X and scroll all the way down to you'll see your Vita Shell version 1.90 mod. Uh, what you can do is you can just hit X to install it and hit X again at the prompt to install. Allow that to install. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exit our Vita Shell. Now, this is a completely separate version of Vita Shell, mind you. Uh, I just found this out based upon the installation I just did. And what it does is you can see right here, if I come down here, you see my Vita Shell folder and there's Vita Shebd, or well, S-H-E-M-D, instead of Shell, I guess. Um, that, I guess that's standing for mod. So we got Vita Shell mod and regular Vita Shell. Um, now, if I go into my Vita shell here, uh, I'll show you that this version of this Vita shell that's running right now is in fact 182. Now, if we go back and we go to our Vita shell mod and uh, come down here again and we look at our SFO, you can see it's 190 and uh, that's pretty much it. And then the title here is uh, Vita shell mod. So. It is a separate application, so you do not need to reboot in order to do this. Now, if you want this to be your backup, if you're running the SOS app, you can change that Vita Shell VPK to backup in all capital letters with dot VPK in all caps and copy and paste it here. So that way you can just install the mod with the backup version if you wish. Um, but that's pretty much it. So let's take a look at this Vita Shell here. So if we come down, you're going to be looking at this little uh, Vita shell mod symbol right here and if you start that up obviously it's going to be the same damn thing as Vita shell uh, it might take a second to boot up though because it does take a while on a bigger memory stick and this is it so you can see version 1.9 uh, if we go back you can still see all these wonderful directories here and uh, here's for an example my PSP ISOs, actually my CSO files da, 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 for my adrenaline. Uh, but the only other thing is that's different in the Vita Shell mod is A, the icons, uh, B, it's uh, the same shit as version 1.9. 
and you have two different themes added other than electron and default you have the uh whatever that says there akatsuki theme and you also have the hatsune um miku theme as well and i'm not gonna look at those because i really don't feel like it and uh yeah you got your ftp client you can set and that's pretty much it. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this little mod version of uh, VitaShell 1.9. That's how you install it. Again, you do not need a reboot in order to utilize this. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Link will be in the description below. And uh, like I said, you can also use that as your backup through SOS. And uh, I will be making a video on how to do that as well uh, for future reference. So, talk to you guys later and enjoy.